everybody, welcome to Management of Adverse Effects and Antiretrovirals. On behalf of the Georgia Society of Health System Pharmacists and the Association of Nurses and AIDS Care and HIV Talk Show, we welcome you tonight, especially everybody on the internet and here in Atlanta. So give yourself a round of applause. Yay! So we said thank you to Georgia Society of Health System Pharmacy and the Association of Nurses and AIDS Care. They are the two organizations for providing CE for pharmacists, pharmacy techs, and nurses tonight. So we really appreciate them. Now another big thank you goes out to Bristol Myers Squibb, Bear Ringer Ingelheim, and Gilead Pharmaceuticals. They have provided educational grants who have paid for everything tonight. Your dinner, the internet, Manish to come up here and talk. We really appreciate them. So let's give them a round of applause. Love it. Some things you need to remember before, when you leave here tonight. People who are on the internet, you're already at home and can immediately take the test following this. You have to go home and take the test before you get CE. That is required. So make sure you go to hivtalkshow.com slash events, E-V-E-N-T-S. That is in your flyer on your handout, okay? We also have the slide deck for you to review along and so you can help answer questions when you get home, okay? So let me introduce Manish Patel, PharmD, Mr. Of HIV Drug Therapy, wonderful experience guy. So we really appreciate him coming up here tonight as well. I'm Alton Condor, if you don't man know me, and we are ready to start. Are we, Manish? Did we I get everything right? We are ready. Okay, so let's go. So now, I believe that we always need to dance. Like Ellen DeGeneres, does everybody believe we need to dance? <laughs> well, every time I think of adverse effect, I think of a particular song. Can anyone name me a song that would remind them of adverse effects? From the 80s. Anybody remember one? Mr. DJ, put on your shades now because we have props tonight. <laughs> Do we look cool or what? <laughs> Yay! Remember that song from Lulu Lewis in the News? I want a new drug. I mean, I want a new drug. Okay, is this song over yet? Because that's our thing. Okay, this is Alan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut that off. Okay, everybody, I'm going to ask you. That's all for the night. Okay, let's go on to the test questions. Y'all remember when you registered? There were three test questions. How many think they got 100? No one thinks they got 100? Uh, Lane got 100. I can see Lane. I bet he did, too. All right, let's go right over the, uh, the questions. Now, we're not going to answer these up front. We're going to actually answer these at the end of the night. You should be able to answer them very easily. Me and Manish do our jobs well. So, what are the potential adverse effects of a tripla? So, we have number one, nephrotoxicity, anemia, dizziness, drowsiness, and rash. We have number two, peripheral neuropathy, pancreatitis, hepatitis. Number three, dizziness, drowsiness, rash, vivid dreams, nephrotoxicity. Or number four, hypersensitivity reaction, rash, and dizziness. All right, so our number two. Second question is, which of the following agents would most likely cause pancreatitis? So which regimen would it be? First one, where you have tenofovir, didanosine, and ephabrine. Number two, we have epsicom plus nevirapine. Number three, we have comivir plus ephabrine. And number four, we have a triplet. All right. And our last of our three questions, which of the following statements are true? So patients who develop a uh, bacterial hypersensitivity can be successfully rechallenged. Nevirapine can be initiated in women with CD4 counts of above 300. Of 300. Afrabins may cause drowsiness and dizziness, which generally improves after completing four weeks of therapy. And the last option is Davidine does not cause peripheral neuropathy. So, all right. So hopefully we're going to answer all these questions for you this evening. That's right. Okay, so let's talk about literature introduction. What are we here about? Well, let me give you a little philosophy of mine. I believe, this is my belief, that the best potential for health care lies in the hands of the pharmacists, techs, nursing, and the social workers and case managers. Everyone here tonight is on the front lines of HIV care. We're the only ones that I know of that you can pick up a phone and actually get someone to answer the phone. So the first question comes to you. That does not come to the physician, not even I have my physician's cell phone number. So really and truly, you are the front lines of HIV drug therapy. So it's real important that you help these patients with adverse effects. 
As you watch commercials on TVs for drugs, you'll see there's a whole list of side effects that they're going to talk to you about, right? And by the time they get done with that commercial, you're like, why would I take the drug to begin with? Well, you know what? Every drug has side effects, but what's real important is how you manage that side effect. It might be something you can manage through and help the patient. It may be something that will go away with time, or guess what? It may be something that the patient just will not be able to stay on that drug. So you are the ones who need to answer that when it comes to antiretrovirals, okay? The HIV drugs. So it's also real important that you make sure the patient stays adherent to therapy. Remember, you've got to stay real compliant with this. You make sure the patient takes every dose, every time for the rest of their lives. Now think about that, that's real hard. So if they're having side effects issues that you can help them with, then you can really make a significant difference to adherence. Also, don't forget, you need to also be very, very strong in making ties with your patients. Remember, they're scared or they're nervous. And you need to make sure that you can help be proactive with them, make sure you grab a hold of them, not physically, but grab a hold of their attention and go, hey, guess what? I'm a resource for you. I'm here for you. And as you go through this process, I'm going through the process with you. And make sure that they feel comfortable calling you day or night, anytime, as long as you're not asleep. So um, did I get all that? Now also remember that these antiretrovirals, the HIV medications, have increased. We've increased the number of those agents and the complexity of these regimens are getting more complex every day. So as we mix and change these drugs up, you're becoming more and more critical as we go through. Now I've already talked about being proactive to initiating heart and also make sure, this is very important with our patients, make sure you stress keeping their appointments with their providers and their physicians. That's real important, especially with lab work, because some of these drugs need to be monitored with labs, and that's very, very important. So every time you see a patient, remind them, keep the appointment with their physician or their provider, and make sure they keep their lab work current, okay? Now, we have a couple of classes of drugs of antiretrovirals. There's actually six classes, and if we went through the, every drug with every class, it'd take two hours. So you know what we're doing? We're cutting this into two parts. There's part one, which are the ones we're doing tonight, which is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, known as the NRTIs. We have the second class, the non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, the NNRTIs, and our last one, fusion inhibitors. So those are the three we're gonna focus on, how to manage those side effects and get better outcomes for our patients. The um, last three uh, groups that we have are the protease inhibitors, the CCR5 inhibitors, and the integrase inhibitors, and that's another class, part two, which we're going to be doing. So later on, and we'll let you know, we'll email you all out and let you know when that's coming. So also, if you have questions, if I'm talking too fast, if you can't understand me and Manish, please raise your hand, and our lovely assistant, Tanya Rankins, back there, wave Tanya, yay! Uh, we'll come around and give you the microphone so you can be on TV with the rest of us. So, um, now let me tell you, when I first started HIV drug therapy, I did not know a thing about HIV drug therapy did not have a clue. What I learned in college, we went over in just a few, a few weeks, and then we're like, okay, now you're out there, you're supposed to know everything. Well, the best website ever, to, if you want to get really caught up to speed really quick, is the aidsinfo.nih.gov. It's the DHHS panel. And what they do is a bunch of smart people get together and really make, make it common sense out of you. They have charts, they have tables, they have side effect management an answers for you, anything you'd possibly want to know, and it's condensed down for you, and it really is a great way of learning, and it's a great tool that I found. When I want to want to ask me a question, and I don't know off the top of my head, this is one of the first places I'll go to to find the answer real quick. So it makes me look real smart. 